Hello and welcome to the Reillusion tutorial on creating game characters using the iClone Character Creator and the iClone Animation Pipeline. We'll be taking our characters into Unity today and showing you how you can create a character from scratch, animate it, and bring it all the way through into your game engine. So we'll get started here with Reillusion's tool, the iClone Character Creator, and Today I'll be showing you how you can utilize this tool to really build up characters very quickly. This is one of the default characters that comes with the character creator. Um, you'll have another option here that I can show you that uh, gives a different variation uh, on a female character. These are all single mesh characters, so you have uh, a really nice optimized game character to get started with. Uh, on these and the way everything works inside character creator is we can just grab any of the characters body parts or uh, the bones if you will and then uh, you can stretch and you can, you, know, you can start designing the character this way if you like you can also switch directly into the camera and for the face here and then start working with the face here as well. So you can see just with sculpting, we call this morphing uh, our characters inside the character creator. You can just easily start working on those and getting a result. And as I'm doing this, you can see that our slider bars here on the right hand side um, are also uh, changing here along with the edits that I'm making here with my character. So you can either use the sliders here on the right or you can conform directly um, with or actually morph rather uh, directly inside the viewport here uh, with these tools. And if you turn the camera angle, you can see that you can get some uh, different results, like if you wanted to work with the actual depth of the mouth and so on. So uh, the morphing tools inside Character Creator are very robust and allow you to really get started in creating your own characters quickly. So these are a couple of the base models that you can get started with uh, inside Character Creator. We're going to take it all the way back though to starting with one of our base characters. And this character that we're going to start with is just our base male character. And for this character I'm going to load his base up and this will be uh, his nude base that loads and then we will be able to decide our clothing, um, all of these things uh, as, we, as we go. Uh, when the character gets loaded here, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over here into my uh, morph tree view and I'm going to select the full body and I have the iClone uh, essential packs for morph and skin as well as for fabrics and cloths in here so you you're going to see all of the features really um, that are available in my in my menus here so uh, what i'm going to do first of all is i want to go ahead and emphasize uh, the physique a bit so i'm going to turn up the muscular and here so you can see that just instantly you can get a result doing something like that but the kind of character that i want is going to be uh sort of a sort of a hero he's he's but but he's a castaway also um is is my idea for my character that i have and so i'm just going to work on wor his his physique a little bit here and i want to make his neck a little bit longer like so and you know, the feet also a little bit larger there like that and then we can grab the hands you again you can just move your camera around and work on different areas if you want. Pretty much everything can be edited, as you can see. And so I just got a really quick basic sculpt, something fast. What I wanna do next, though, is I want to maybe make his thighs a little less chunky. There we go. What I wanna do now is go and show you the menu here. We have, we start out with uh, working with our different clothed character bases and then we can start working with uh, different morphs here these are all preset uh, content this all comes with character creator you'll find uh, different instant morphs for strong uh, male female and so on and head morphs as well for faces uh, or you can go the artistic route and dial in whatever you like with uh, the sliders or with the different morphing tools here and so uh first thing i'm going to do is i'm actually going to switch on down uh here to my clothing and i'm going to select some pants 
um, as a courtesy for my my guy here and so we'll give him some pants and the the pants are part of real illusions conforming cloth uh, that we've introduced inside iClone character creator and so as we continue to work with the body the clothing actually will morph to whatever it is that we're doing so if we want to make him taller the clothing just kind of follows along with that and stretches to conform to the body um, we could also take these pants and put it on a, a really large avatar as well and they would still fit they would just automatically conform thus conforming cloth so another thing about uh, iClone Character Creator is we have implemented the dynamic textures uh, with our uh, appearance editor. And this is all powered by algorithmic substance. Uh, this is a really great tool uh, because what we can do here is we can actually select the genes and then open up the appearance editor for the genes. And uh, I, res I respect the hipster movement, but white belts are not going to work for my character. So I've got definitely have to fix this. So what I want to do here is go to the very first thing is when I open up this appearance editor, um, I'm going to go down to this diagnostic. What diagnostic is going to tell me is basically what's going on on all of these different uh, layers for the fabric. So if I enable this, we'll see automatically that I've got my red belt is... Uh, or the red uh, section uh, is what the belt is going to be rather and so the red fabric section right here corresponds to that is how this works same thing for the base fabric is black you can see what's black here so this is how we edit the clothing uh, in one basic way using the dynamic uh, appearance editor here so I can go to the red section and actually I'm going to turn off my mask now so I know, I know that my belt is the red and you'll see that I have um, all of these different all of these different parameters available um, for the the look of the belt alone and so I'm going straight over to the diffuse HSL and I'm going to pump up the saturation I'm going to change the hue just a little bit and then we're going to darken that up and you can see that now I get I get the brown belt that I'm looking for you know I'm getting I'm getting exactly what I wanted and so everything's layered this way so that you can work with it and do nice quick edits uh, there's a lot of other ways that you can do this too you can do uh, different effects with holes and procedural dirt in fact for the character that I'm making um, the procedural holes in the dirt actually come into play as I said I'm making something like a castaway type of character so you can see automatically we've got holes that start to appear when we enable this and I can change the pattern so you can see the pattern changes up a bit and I'll go ahead and change the ratio so you can see um, maybe a, a little more and then certainly the spread like so and spread it out a little more and again you can take your camera and pan it around and see so if your if your character needs to have some damage dealt um, you can also do some fading around the side or around the edges there rather and if if your can if your character needs to have some tattered clothing and that sort of thing these procedural uh, tools inside character creator are really really handy um, you also have the same thing for dirt so if we want to add some nice dirt there since he's potentially cast away so there's there's chances are he's likely not that clean uh, I can go ahead and turn the dirt amount up like that we can see that now I've got some nice dirty pants there a little more believable for what my character might be going through so there so that's just something really fast using the dynamic appearance texture uh, editor that we can do uh, there's lots more here uh, that real illusion has prepared some tutorials that you can go through as well to learn more about this section a lot, lot of power in that so let's move on and let's give our guy a shirt so uh, under the same clothing section I can just go over here to the clothing and I'm going to pick just shirt a here and it's going to conform to his body there we go and now what I want to do is I want to I want to go right back to that appearance editor but this time in the tree I'm gonna select shirt 
and activate that appearance editor. And I'm gonna do a little bit of the same thing, actually. I'm gonna put some holes in this. I'm going to put some procedural dirt on it. I'm actually going to take a little bit of the saturation out of the shirt because I'm not, I'm not feeling the blue. And so uh, first thing I'll do is just like before, let's see where everything's located. So I'll open up my diagnostic at the bottom. I'll hit enable. Now I can see that the sleeves, if I want to change that, that's on the red channel. I've got uh, this aquamarine channel or the green channel and then or cyan actually and then um, our buttons and so on. So that lets me know where everything is. I'm going to make a little bit of a global change though here. Let's see with my basic fabric and that and then also take my cyan because we know that that's like this area and we want to drop the saturation on that as well and then we know that red that was the sleeves so do that too and then on the green so you can see you can edit everything um, even if it's just something simple like you know dropping some saturation and so on very simple to go ahead and and just do that um, you can also add decals to this you can put your own uh, logos on shirts and 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 so on so it's 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 very easy to do that sort of thing now let's uh, let's give it some procedural holes here so I've got that open let's enable that and then I just want to turn my pattern up here. You can see some holes starting to appear. I'll make those spread a little bit. Okay. And then same thing with our dirt. So I'll uh, we'll go over here to the procedural dirt and then we'll just crank that up a bit. And the thing about the dirt that I want to do here is I actually want to change this primary color just a little bit. Maybe make it a little more green, like so. So that gets a base for the kind of idea I have for my character and gets you a little bit of an introduction on the clothing as well as the some of the procedural tools for dirtying that up. Let's go back into some of the morphing, though. If we go back to our character, I'm going to switch up here back to our morph section and I can just turn on my head here. I'll go to full head, and I've used my J hotkey to get to my face cam here. It's the same thing as in iClone, same hotkeys. And so what I wanna do is, uh, I just wanna tweak some things uh, directly here first. And so like I said, you can, you can you know, alter the, the face directly with the morphing gizmo, just like this, um, or we can work with it here. And so I'm going to open up these full head parameters. And then what I want to do is I want to take the face heart. You can see how it changes the shape of the face here. Makes a big difference whenever you're working on characters to work with these tools as well to get the right shape. You can see you get a face heavy variation or something a little more thin on a little face there so you can keep working with it for my character i'm going to load up a, a final character that i've made already but i want to give you just a little bit of a guide like if i wanted to make for my character my my character needed to have a little bit of a smaller lips and uh, we had a little bit of a larger nose so I can come out here like that and then the eyes were much larger than we wanted to make and a little closer together so just doing that with the mouse with our uh, morph gizmo and then you can also work with the eyes again uh, in this section as well so if you wanted to make any adjustments like eye angle we can just do it directly here as well so I want to move the brow up and so on. And so we can keep working with that. If we wanted to work with the actual textures on the face, uh, the beard, 
the eyebrows, those kind of things also can be edited. So we can go to the dynamic texture editor and then we can open that up. So you can see the relationship between moving in and out of this to get the textures the way you want them and then morphing with the character tools as well to get the face and the body shaped the way you want them as uh, as well for your for your game character and so we can open this section up and you can see I could go directly to uh, things like the beard is here and it's so simple to change all you got to do is change the different type so you can go to type 1 type 2 type 3 you can see some different looks you can also import your own custom mask as well uh, for this if you like or you can have no beard whatsoever and also remove the mustache as well if you like to so a lot of flexibility in your character design as far as that goes now um, I'm gonna load up the uh, the character that I've created actually the final thing we did was shoes if you go to shoes here you can find some shoes and we'll give some nice hiking boots to my guy it's about the only thing I'm gonna give him that's that's gonna help him hiking boots Okay, so this is how you can uh, create a quick character. And then I'm going to load up my, my final character that I made that I spent a little more time on and uh, doing the modeling and such with the face. And so I've got that stored in my projects here. So if I go over to my projects and go to template um, and then go to custom, uh, you'll con you can see that um, I have my character here. So this is where your content would also be stored if you uh, created something with Character Creator and wanted to save it and work on it later uh, or just use it as a, um, as a repository for your project. So here's a character that I worked on. I've added some hair to him as well. Uh, but same concept. We have the, the dirtied up shirt, the pants, the uh, the procedural holes and so on. Uh, you can see the face I've worked with a bit more with the larger eyes and more of the heart-shaped lips and and so on that you can you can do just uh, working with the dials and and uh, working with the uh, different morph tool uh, uh, possibilities with your mouse as well. So uh, you know work around with the camera and it's always good to look at reference material. Um, I actually used some a, a few different Disney princes uh, to work on this guy's face and and it turned out pretty well. So here's my video game character created in character creator and ready now to go become animated inside iClone. So in order to get it there what we want to do is we want to go up to the top menu here and we just want to say send character to iClone and then that character will then be sent over to iClone and be ready to animate. You can also uh, save this by exporting it as an iAvatar. Save that anywhere on your machine as well. Uh, but we'll move this character on over to iClone and get started with animation and moving towards getting this character inside your video game.